year, 9-0 and 2 in his last 11 starts, 5-1 and one lifetime against the New York Rangers with a 3.1 goals, or 1-6 goals against average. And that's unbelievable. Glenn Hamlin starting in goal, 1-3-3 three and three in his last seven. And a lifetime against the Oilers, he's 2-3-2 two, and two with a 4.4 goals, three goals against average. Well, Sam, we're ready, we're ready for this game. We're back home and we're ready to go. By the way, Fournier's ready to drop the puck. Glenn Hamlin is playing in his 101st game as a Ranger. Rangers control. Beck and Huber play the back line. Sandstrom is up front with Steve Patrick and Mike Rogers. Steve Patrick drops it off for Rogers. And Rogers lost it and then pulls down Napier. Napier centering and Beck takes it back for the Rangers. Steve Patrick in center. And backhands it into the corner. In after it. Lee Fogelin up the boards for Mark Napier. Napier carries out the center ice. Napier across the line, drops it off for Messier in front for Anderson to save by Hanlon with the blocker. Good passing by the Oilers already. Tied up in the corner, Rogers works it free up the boards and out of the zone. You know, it'll be a play a big part of this game too. The fans. The Rangers don't do anything off the bat and they get behind right away. The fans will boot them and then it'll really put more pressure on them. Pavlich sends Roots a line to the center. Back for Pavlich. Across he comes and breaks wide. Nice feed for James Patrick, who shot wide. Brook plays the puck. In past Roots Alinen. Muir goes out and plays it, gets hit by Hedberg. Along the boards, Hedberg has the puck, comes off the boards, and then lost it. The Oilers work it free and out the center. Crucial Niski racing down. James Patrick getting back. Centered on goal and sticked aside wow. by Hanlon. It deflected off James Patrick. Pass intended for Roots line and off his stick. Muir has it. Off the glass and into the crowd. A minute 34 gone by, first period. There's Glenn Sater, general manager, coach, president, vice president, <laughs> stick boy, <laughs> and anything else that Edmonton has, Glenn Sater does and does a heck of a job, too. The Oilers scratches tonight. Huzar, McClellan, Hapsheet, Melnick, I think. McClellan, McClellan's the only one injured. He's been hurt. He skated in the warm-ups, yeah. but uh, he's still out for a while. That was quite a save Hanlon made. The puck deflected off Patrick, and he had to get it. There he is, the great one, Wayne Gretzky, and there's Mike Kuchelniski, who takes all the important face-off in the one zone. What a line. Kuchelniski, Gretzky, and Curry. Kuchelniski with 35 goals, Curry 52, and Gretzky 54. Huddy comes back for the puck chase by Sundstrom up to Gretzky, tapped it away. Crucial Niski sends it out. And it's played along the near side by Yari Curry. Curry across the line, lost it. Sundstrom back. Rangers come out three on two. The feed is to LaRouche. Could not beat the defenseman. And it's cleared out to center ice. Across the line come the Oilers, put in front, off the stick of Crucial Niski, and into the corner. Gretzky centers to Crucial Niski, shoots it a save by Hanlon. The rebound, Gretzky scores! All alone, Wayne Gretzky, as the Oilers kept pumping the shots. There, Wayne Gretzky's just standing to the right of the net all by himself, and that's what I mean. You should have somebody following him around or something. I mean, this guy is incredible. Watch how the puck comes out now to Crucial Niski. That's Gretzky who passed it out. And watch the bottom of your screen. There's Coffey. Rebound. He just shoots. Look at Gretzky. All by himself. I mean, he just Thank stops you. it. Thank you very much. Puts it in the net. And Wayne Gretzky scores his millionth goal. Uh -huh. <laughs> 55th. Only 55. Puck deflects over the boards to stop play. 17-38 to go. Gretzky, 55 goals, 99 assists. He is heading for that record for assists in a season, which he set a couple of years ago with 125. He's spraying a little stick up right there. It uh, might be a little slippery, and he's spraying that stick him on. And see how he puts it on there? Well, the baseball they use the pine tar. Here, a little spray stick him. Hairspray. <laughs> Hairspray in the palms of his gloves. Huber lost the puck. Lumley goes after it. That's the man without the helmet. Poked at it in the corner. Centered by Randy Gregg. Beck clears to the line. It's kept in by Pat Hughes. He shoots and it hits Patiu. Comes to Gregg, who shoots, and it's blocked by Beck. Huber tries to find it and finally clears it out of the zone. Randy Gregg plays it across and gets it back. 
Greg number 21 off the boards and out to center ice to Pat Hughes. Hughes ahead for Lumley, broken up by Fatorik. Fatorik comes in, trying to ward off the check of Lumley. Lumley blocks the pass, and back come the Oilers. Sent in by Dave Hunter as the Oilers change. Gretzky is 55th from Coffee and Crystal Liskey at 214. one nothing Edmonton. That quickly for the Oilers. To lead the National Hockey League with 284 goals. Up the near side boards. Rangers try to keep it in. Sands from behind the net. It goes to Kevin Lowe. Lowe checked by Rogers. Lowe works it up ahead to Samanko. Samanko just pokes it into the middle and the Oilers come up. Fired ahead. Willie Lindstrom comes down the slot with a shot. Saved by Hanlon. Rebound played by James Patrick. Rangers come out. Sandstrom on the left wing. Throws it ahead and it's broken up by low. Picked up by the Oilers. And they come ahead again. Across the line comes Willie Lindstrom. Poked away from Kevin Lowe. It lays there and Sandstrom has it back. Drops it off and gives it away. Sent in by Lindstrom, but they're offside on the play. 16.03 to go. First period from Madison Square Garden. This is New York Rangers hockey. Which I should say, Craig Patrick. Behind the Ranger bench, Steve Richmond's back there with him tonight. On the headset, Rangers send out Pavlich, Hedberg, Rutzelainen, Greshner, and Ledyard. Greshner has the puck. Gives it away in center, and the Oilers send it in. Ledyard is back for it. Chased by Glenn Anderson. Around the shelf, it goes to Rutzelainen, and out of the zone where the Oilers recover. Huddy on the back line. Rutzelainen pokes it over to Pavlich. Feeds Hedberg. Hedberg tries to beat Huddy. Almost did, but Coffey was covering up. And out to center ice where Ledyard has it. Ledyard sends it right back in. Paul Coffey stops it. Paul Coffey, third on the team in scoring with 76 points, 21 goals. Now it's Mark Messier dropping it off for Anderson. Messier takes it back. Has the puck. Back to Coffey. Then across to Charlie Huddy. Huddy a couple of years ago scored 22 goals. Huh. I guess they give everybody a try once, a se once every year. Somebody is the designated goal scorer. Napier, who came over from Minnesota in the trade for Gord Shervin. Loose puck, shot by Anderson, save, rebound, Messier, and to the near side it goes. Now it's Anderson. Anderson drops it into the corner for Messier. He's checked by Greshner, put in front. Pavlich is there to intercept and lifts it out. Knocked down by Huddy, comes back in the zone. The Oilers are offside. 14.48 to go, first period. Oilers won, and the Rangers nothing. On a goal by Wayne Gretzky of 2.14 of this period, with Coffey and Crucial Niski getting the assist. Sent in and around the boards it comes, played along the near side, in front, and knocked away by Hanlon and Peter Sundstrom. Cleared out the center, past Erickson, back for it is Randy Gregg. Gregg up the middle off the skates of Crucial Niski, recovers and clears the center. Huber is there to send it back in the Oilers zone, but instead he sent it over the boards into the crowd. 14.27 to go in this first period. Rangers have had no shots on goal. The Oilers four. Willie Huber. I thought Willie Huber played pretty well on this last road trip. He came back on the knee. He teamed with Perry Beck. And he knows what he has to do back there. You? <laughs> I think we all know what yeah. he's got to do. The Rouge comes down and sends it to the Oilers zone. Fewer stops the puck. Winds it around the boards. By Curry for a shot by Sundstrom that's wide. Huber comes down to keep it in with a shot and a save by Fuhr off the blocker. Picked up by the Oilers and sent out of the zone. Beck is back to play it. Four checking Kuschelniski and Gretzky. Around the boards, Jackson over skates. LaRouche comes out. And Curry gets back to slow him down. LaRouche's feet is broken up by Curry and taken back by Don Jackson. Out to Gretzky in center. Wayne Gretzky. Across the line he comes. He drops it back. It's out of the zone. You notice how the defensemen of the Edmonton Oilers just move right up with, his, with their team. Curry fires it across. It deflects in front. And the loose puck is cleared up. The, and out come the Rangers. The Cora carries. Hope checked away from him. Brook has the puck. Brook back on defense tonight. Teamed with James Patrick. Up the middle off the skates of Petillo. Back come the Oilers. Across the line is Hughes. Drops it for Gretzky. Gretzky in the slot over skates. And Brook comes out. 
Three-man rush for the Rangers. Fatorik across the line. Fatorik for Brook gets knocked down in front. Backhander by Fatorik is blocked again, and out come the Oilers. Gretzky hanging at the red line, carries across the line. Hughes going in front. Beat on the left wing for a shot and score! Dave Hunter. Dave Hunter coming down the left side, gets the feed from Gretzky. That is Gretzky's 100th assist on the season. It's 2-0 Edmonton. Gretzky staying on the ice a little longer, standing right at the red line, gets the pass. Here he comes. Now watch on the top of your screen. Here comes Hunter. Look at this. Three guys on two. Nobody picking up Hunter. All by himself comes in and beats Glenn Hanlon. Looks like between the legs. Here's another look at it. Gretzky coming in on the right-hand side of your screen. You'll see Hunter coming in right about now. Here he comes. Shoots right between the legs of Glenn Hamlin into the net. 2-0 Edmonton. And the Oilers send it in again. Gretzky has gone to the bench, so he won't score on this shift. As Lumley is the score on the ice. Ledger clears the puck out. The late penalty is being called on the Edmonton Oilers as the Rangers come in. Rogers regroups in center ice. Gretzky has the puck. Hanlon has gone to the bench for an extra skater. Ledger goes across for Rogers. The late penalty called on the Edmonton Oilers. Rangers still control the puck. They better be careful. They want to put it in their own net. Now it's taken back. Penalty is called. 12.15 to go. First period. Oilers 2, Rangers nothing. You're watching Rangers hockey on Madison Square Garden Network. That goal, Hunter, is 12 from Gretzky and Hughes at 7.08 to put them two ahead. The Rangers go on a power play, and uh, they're 17th in the National Hockey League on a power play. Edmonton are 6th in the league in penalty killing, but they can score. Here comes Hedberg. Hedberg comes in, and it's knocked away by Lee Fogel, and Pavlich has the puck. Pavlich to Rogers. Back to Rutsalainen. Rutsalainen holds. Gives to Rogers. Rogers back to Rutsalainen. Lines and shoots. Deflects in front and goes in. They score a power play goal. It deflected off somebody in front. The Rangers climb back in it. It's 2-1. to one. I think Mark Pavlich is getting credit for this one. He's standing in front of the net. The puck deflects and banks off of Pavlich. Let's take a look at it. Rogers goes back to the point to Rutsalainen. Rutsalainen winds up. And he snaps one. He half snap, half slap. Here's the shot. It deflects. It saves. And then it deflects again off of Anders Hedberg, it looked like to me. Off his skate. Would have been low. I don't know. But Pavlich touched it about the oh, hash yeah. marks. Yeah. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Two to one any, in any event. Here comes Pavlich down the left side. Backhands one high. It's gloved by Fjord and he holds on. 11.35 to go, first period. Rangers were down two, and the crowd was down. Now yep. suddenly the Rangers lift in it. Let's take another look at this goal. Here's Wutzelein, and there's Pavlich. Watch him. He deflects it here. There's the deflection. Hits low. Hits Hedberg. And I'm yep. telling you, I think Anders Hedberg got that That's goal. It. it did deflect off Anders Hedberg. So it should be Hedberg. And look at this. The referee's pointing to Pavlich. Pavlich. Right. Should be Hedberg for Pavlich and Wutzelein. We will await the uh, announcement. LaRouche is on with Sundstrom and Erickson. Rangers down 2-1. to one. Charlie Huddy, number 22, plays the puck. Drops it off in the corner. Sent back the other way by Coffey. Erickson keeps it in. LaRouche behind the net. LaRouche caught up by Coffey. Tries to center. Coffey takes it away. Coffey checked by LaRouche. Still has it. Winds it around. Pass the Mingo. Taken by James Patrick. Patrick tries to put it in front. It's taken away. They give the goal to Anders Hedberg. Glenn Anderson down the right way. Rather, it's Lindstrom coming in. Soft shot is stopped. Boy, Bob Brook got away with a hooking penalty there. LaRouche coming down on Huddy. LaRouche passes blocked by Huddy. And Huddy takes the puck away. Goes cross ice to Semenko. Dave Semenko fires cross ice. Put in front the deflection. They score. Billy Carroll off a beautiful setup. And it's quickly 3-1. to one. The Oilers answer right back. This is their fourth line, and they <laughs> score. Okay, Billy Carroll, but here's the pass by Semenko that set this up. Over to Willie Lindstrom. Now watch, it's a three-on-one. Here on the bottom of your screen is Carroll. There's the pass. Watch a beautiful deflection. Tilts the stick beautifully up high, because he knows Hanlon's going down, and over. On this play, now watch how Billy Carroll tilts the stick, you kids at home. Here comes the pass. Here's the pass. Watch how he tilts the stick to put it up. You tilt the stick, and you know the goal he's going down, tilt that stick. The the goal goal. Back to the live action. Rangers force their way into the Oilers' zone. Oilers recover the puck. 
three to one Edmonton. It's one of Pepsi is coming up on the Rangers. Rangers take the puck back in center ice, and the Rangers will be down a man. They are already down three to one. Ten thirty remains in the first period. That his left shoulder isn't sore. Matiki. Rujan with Sundstrom and Erickson. Messier plays it back behind the net. Near side, Charlie Huddy picks it up. Huddy tied up and gets it over to Kevin Lowe. Rather to Paul Coffey, and out come the Oilers. Billy Carroll with a shot to stop by Hanlon. Carroll chases James Patrick. Brooke fanned on the pass and picks it up again. Checked by Semenko, takes the puck away. He centers, blocked by James Patrick, still loose, and the Rangers able to come up and out. Erickson. Back is Huddy. Erickson holds the puck. The cross for LaRouche off his stick. LaRouche centers, and it's intercepted. Out in center, Willie Lindstrom lost it to Beck. Taken back by Billy Carroll. Across to Huddy, who sends it in. Stopped by Hamlet. Around the boards, it goes to Peter Sundstrom. Sends Erickson to center. And across to LaRouche. LaRouche tries to split the defense. They ride him out of the play, and the Oilers come out. Puck slides down to Glenn Hanlon, steers it into the corner to Huber. And around it goes. Petoric along the boards with Kevin Lowe. Kept in by the Oilers. Petit will play it. Semenko ties him up. Huber has it. 5.05 to go. First period. 3-1 to one Edmonton. Petit lost it. Huber with a check, but it's picked up by Napier, and a save is made by Hanlon. And he covers the puck. Well... Napier came right down as he stole the puck from Fatio. And uh, Glenn made a great save. Here's Fatio. He loses the puck. That's Messier. And Napier picks it up. Here he comes in. He tries to go on a short side. Glenn Hanlon makes a save. And Barry Beck and Willie Huber cover up with Dave Semenko as Glenn Hanlon freezes the puck. Face off to the right of Glenn Hanlon. 58 left in the first period. Sorry, Sam. Shots are 11 6 for Edmonton. 4.58 to go, as Phil mentioned. 3 1 is the score. The Oilers leading it on goals by Gretzky, Hunter, and Carroll. Ranger goal by Anders Hedberg. A power play goal is 12th of the season. Oilers send it in. Hamlin stops it behind the net and sends it up the boards. Greshner picks it up. Ledger out to center to Fatorik. Now for Ledger, who's tied up. And the Rangers are offside on the play. 4.34 to go in the first period. Grant Ledger just was nailed. He was racked up a little bit by Marc Messier. And uh, where the glass ends, right at the penalty box. Watch, he's ridden in there. He picks it. Look where he gets nailed here. Look. Right where the glass ends. Figuring that there's glass there and there isn't. Uh, the sponge now they have them in. They started putting the sponge about five, six years ago. Right. So that business part did. Mark Messi. Ten game suspension to team won every game. <laughs> and this was the MVP of the of the playoffs, the playoffs. last year. That he's tells missed, you. He's missed 25 games this season. He has 11 goals in 31 games. Missed 25 games and uh, no reflection on him, but the team hasn't missed a oh, missed that his shows play. You about depth. We've talked about so much during the course of the season. James Patrick getting the puck ahead to Hedberg. Two on one. Roots a line in and Pavlich. Roots a line in to Pavlich. Score! Mark Pavlich off the pass from Rayo. Roots a line in and it's three to two. Look at Grant Fury shaking his head. He's angry at himself. And I don't know why. That was a heck of a play by Roots a line in. Anders Hedberg up to Roots a line in. Two on one. Rutzelainen fakes the shot here, then passes over. Here's the shot up high, goes off a Grant, goes off a Grant Fuhrer's pads. Let's take a look now. Watch Grant Fuhrer when he goes down here. He hits his left pad, he hits his left pad now and goes up. And that's what he's mad about. Right, he got a piece. That's right, he got a piece. It. You got to stop it. Mark Pavlich. That puts the Rangers right back in this hockey game. 407 to go. And it's three to two. Pavlich of Rutzlan and Hedberg at 15-53. Sandstrom comes in. Greg is trying to wrap it, wrap him up. Sandstrom works his way in, and Fjord got a piece of it. Oilers come out. Gretzky to center. Curry on the right wing. Crucial Niski left. Drop for Crucial Niski. Centers and Steve Patrick breaks it up. Sandstrom breaks down the right wing. Rogers comes in two on one. Rogers shoots and scores! And now the garden has come to life. It is 3-3. Three, three. The Rangers break down again on a two on one. And this is two two on ones in a row. Crucial Niski loses the puck. Patrick off the board. Sandstrom to Rogers. 
Rogers. Rogers thinks he watched the guy go down. And Randy Gregan goes right between the legs of Fuhrer. And I'm going to tell you, Grant Fuhrer is not sharp tonight. Because he, he will never see a goal like that on Grant Fuhrer. Watch him just shoot it, Rogers. And right between the legs. That's all he had to do is stand up there, and it would have never gone through. 18th three, goal three. of the year for Rogers. Gretzky comes in with a puck. Gretzky turns and still holds and centers in front. Crucial Niski is tied up. Back pass from Curry to Greg. Greg winds it in for Gretzky. It's past him. Crucial Niski along the boards. Curry lost it. Out come the Rangers. Three on two. LaRouche across. Dropped to Gretzky. He shoots. He scores! It's 4 well, I tell you, Rangers! Well, I tell you, this man could be had. Grant Fuhrer, he can't stop anything right now. They're just shooting at him, and it's going in. Another one right between the legs. Okay, another three-on-two break. Pierre LaRouche comes down. Got to the breast. Watch between the legs. Right oh, between the legs same again. Shot. A same shot. The exact same shot as Rogers. Slot shot from the top of the circle. Right between the legs of Grant Fuhr. 4 3 Rangers. Three straight goals for the Rangers. Roots the line in after it. Huddy gave it away to Brooks. Saved by Fuhr. Rebound is loose. Picked up by Pavlich. The centering pass Look block. Fuhr, he's all over the ice. Huddy, back pass for Hunter. He's tied up by Brooks. Rangers are all over the ice with 245. And the Roots the line in shoots by. Near side, James Patrick. Patrick drops it for Hedberg. Centers the deflection by Rutzelein and over the glass in the crowd. 2.40 to go. First period. Rangers have scored three in a row. They lead 4-3. to three. Looks shaky. Well, he's, uh, uh, he's having a little trouble right now. Hey, everybody has those days. Three goals in 58 seconds for the Rangers. Haven't had time to give them to you, but I will. Low. Checked by Rogers. In comes Steve Patrick. Patrick turns, centers, they score! Rogers gets the goal. It's 5 3 Rangers. Look at Sather. Andy Moog, are you ready? <laughs> Mike Rogers scores this one. Watch Steve Patrick again. Nobody on him. Comes right around the net. These guys are going all over. Now, Fuhrer honestly has no chance in this one. Here's the shot. Except when he comes around the net, the only thing a goaltender can do here is put out his stick to try to stop it. Watch Patrick. Now, watch Fuhrer's left hand. He doesn't put that stick out to poke check it. Look at that. You see that? Right. That's all he had to do is put that stick properly, and that puck doesn't come out. Four goals in a minute, 38 seconds for the Rangers. Go to the record books for that one. They are standing here in the garden. Well, what they're doing about is Mark Messi is trying to slow things up. Well, but still, the crowd is on its feet yep. cheering the Rangers, getting four unanswered goals in a minute and 38 seconds. Look at the garden. Well, you know how things have been going badly for the Rangers, but suddenly, down three to one, they explode for four goals. Rodgers gets two of them. Sundstrom has it. Sundstrom tries to beat Don Jackson. One hand is almost knocked away by Fuhr. Loose in the corner. Jackson's after it. Jackson clears the zone. 5-3 Rangers with 2.05 to go in the first period. Rangers have had trouble scoring five goals in a game all season long. They've got five goals in the first period the fourth best defensive team in the National Hockey League. Right now, you see Napier, Napier and separated Jan Erickson. by Erickson. Yeah, they, he and Jan Erickson are going to go off probably two minutes each for roughing, but let's go. Go, go for the goals. Pavlich at 15-53 from Rutzlein and Hedberg is seventh. Rogers from Sandstrom and Steve Patrick at 16-18 is 18th. Gressner from LaRouche and Erickson at 16-51 is 8th. Rogers from Steve Patrick at 17:31 is 19th. Wow, not bad. What is that? Is about a minute, minute 38, and 38, seconds. 38 seconds, four goals. He was charged number 18. Pretty quick. Napier. Erickson and two minutes for Napier will get two minutes each for Ruffy. Charge number 20, Jan Erickson. 
Jackson, receiving two minutes. 17.59 at time. Or, a 17 minutes, 59 seconds. 17.59 at time of the penalty. Two minutes for running. And the team skate four aside. 17. Roots line and couldn't clear. James Patrick picks it up. Messier on him. This is Pavlich beating Hedberg. Hedberg comes in and holds. Lost the puck along the boards. Taken back by Pavlich. Pavlich turns and shoots. Save made with a stick by Fjord. Kept in by Roots Alignan. Back behind the net. Jackson and Hedberg. Pavlich is there. Centers the shot is a save. James Patrick with a shot. Juggled by Fjord. A couple of minutes ago, the shots were 11-6 for the Oilers. No. The Rangers have nine, ten straight shots. The Rangers have come alive since that first goal. Here's the quick snapshot by James Patrick. Look at Fear juggle it and almost put it in the net with his glove. The Rangers have come alive. They've taken one shot back. It's now 14 for the Rangers, 11 for the Oilers. They've had eight consecutive shots on goal without the Oilers getting one. Boy, this crowd is buzzing. So are we. We're, we haven't had this much excitement well, over the since last that 5 4 game. They won an overtime over the Islanders. November the 9th. That's right. That was the high point of the season. And the Rangers were 7 4 and 1. Gretzky behind the net. Oilers come out. This is Coffee centering. Ledger breaking it up. The pass intended by to Curry. For Curry, so. Beck sending it across. Steve Patrick is there. Patrick for Sandro. Remaining in the first period. Up. Less than a minute to go. First period. Rangers five, and the Oilers three. Sandstrom tries to break in. Sandstrom goes in. It's knocked away by Huddy. Sandstrom recovers. Back pass for Ledger. Ledger is in. He shoots. He scores. Do you believe look it? Look at Sandstrom. Look at Sandstrom. He's shaking his head. He should be right now. His team is falling apart. There's a smile. We haven't seen a smile like that for a long time. Here's a beautiful play by Sandstrom. Great pass, Gretzky. In comes Ledger. Fakes all by himself. Patrick kicks out the defenseman, Poppy, and bang, going to the net. Another look at it. Here comes Ledger around Gretzky. Fakes. Now, he doesn't know whether to shoot or not, and he fakes it, fakes it. Look at how Fuhr is already down. Way down, and they beat him. That's Andy Moog. I think we may be seeing him. Six goals goal for the Rangers in the first period. The last time they scored, they scored only uh, more than six goals, only once in January the second. That was the uh, nine-six win over New Jersey, <laughs> and they get six in one period. Oilers come in. Crucial Niski. Watch out, he's dangerous. He centers current, and rather is just missed by Hughes. Back at the point, it's kept in. Hughes has the puck. Blocked by LaRouche. 18 seconds to go in the period as LaRouche comes in. And the Rangers are offside on the play. 14 seconds to go, skating four aside. And there was a penalty call, a yeah. holding call. It looks Gresham. to be on Greshner. Yeah. Greshner gets two minutes for holding. He had a hold of Kevin Lowe's stick right at the, the blue line. He's been charged number four. Ledgered his fourth from Sandstrom and Beck at 1915. So the Rangers in, uh, get five goals in a span of three minutes and 22 seconds. Setting a lot of records, I think, and we'll just verify with that in between periods and give them to you. It's incredible. Statistician Dave Newman is already deeply engrossed in the book, checking all the records out. Glenn Sandra is saying, wait a second. So Gretchen gets two minutes of holding in 1946. Now, now this will give the Oilers a chance to get back in the game here. Four on three skating advantage. Uh, they only have 14 seconds in this period, but they'll start off the next period with uh, a power play. Sundstrom wins the faceoff, and that will help as Beck yep. throws it down. Coffee is there with seven seconds in the period. He drives one in, didn't realize he could have had a little bit of a rush. Forgets it. And that'll be it for period number one. And what a period. The capacity crowd on its feet here at Madison Square Garden for the last five or six minutes. They've been on their feet carrying the Rangers steadily. The Rangers were down three to one at the 9-11 mark. And then Pavlik, Rogers, 
Rogers. Rogers and Ledger put the puck in the net. And at the end of one here in Madison Square Garden, the New York Rangers lead the Edmonton Oilers 6 to 3. We'll be back in just a moment. Back to Madison Square Garden between the first and second period, 6 3, the New York Rangers lead. Let's get to the highlights right away. We got three goals to show you. First, the goal that turned it around for the Rangers. Mark Pavlik gets the goal. The puck comes up to Hedberg. Here's a great pass. Back on his right, right to Rutzelainen. I want you to watch what Rutzelainen does here. They think he's going to shoot. Watch. Right here, he freezes the defenseman over to Pavlich. Pavlich banks it in off of the left pad of Grant Fuhr into the net. Pavlich from Rutzelainen and Hedberg, 15-53. Then the next goal we'll show is Mike Rogers first. Just comes in the top of the circle, right between the legs of Grant Fuhr. No chance. Well, Fuhr's let the puck go between his legs, and that shouldn't have happened. Sandstrom and he congratulate each other. Patrick and uh, Steve Patrick and Sandstrom get the assist. Then the next goal, Ronnie Gressner. Watch this to Erickson, back to LaRouche. Watch Ronnie Gressner. Now, no Edmonton Oiler is coming up on him. He's all by himself. Watch between the legs of Fuhr. Right, and he straightened up on that one. That goal, Gressner from LaRouche and Erickson at 16.51. Boy, what a period. That made it 4-3, ended up 6-3. And I can't wait for the second period. How about you, Seth? I'm ready, I'm ready. Shots on goal, first period. Rangers had been outshot 11-6. They wound up outshooting the Oilers. 15 to 12. And the shots on goal. And uh, there you see the scoring summary. Gretzky is 55th. Hunter is 12th. And Hedberg, a power play goal, made it 2 to 1. Billy Carroll, a minute later, made it 3 to 1 with his seventh. And here come the Rangers. Pavlich, Rogers, Rushner, and Rogers again in a span of a minute 38 seconds. They got those four goals. That's a Rangers record. And the fifth goal uh, wound up. Uh, total of five goals in a span of three minutes 22 seconds as Roger as Ledger came up with his fourth of the season at 1915 Rangers will start the second period down a man Grant Fuhr has been lifted and Andy Moe who beat the Rangers five to one in Edmonton has gone into the nets to start the second period a record of 20 wins five losses two ties goals against 3.01 Andy Moe is in goal to start the second period. It'll be a four-on-three skating advantage for a couple of seconds. And uh, then it'll be five-on-four when Erickson returns with Napier. So that's no, they are, they are back. Excuse me. Their penalties were at 17.59. So it is a five-on-four skating advantage for the Oilers. This is their second power play of the game. They were 0-for-1 in the first period. Oilers. Paul Coffey carries the puck. Three-man rush. Coffey fires it in. Around the boards it goes. Erickson tied up with Curry along the boards. Put in front. Huber is there. Throws it into the corner. Curry plays it. Back to Gretzky. Try to center and fan. And Hedberg steers it around. Kept in. Back to Gretzky. Centers. Beck blocks it. Clears to the point. Huddy is there. Huddy ahead for Curry. Passed him to Gretzky. Back to Curry. Back out to Huddy. Huddy turns and shoots. High and wide off the glass. Comes to Coffey. Back to throws it into the corner but over the boards and into the crowd a minute nine to go on the penalty to Ron Greshner Barry Beck just made a nice play there behind the net he was on his hands and knees blocked the pass out from Gretzky and uh, try to get it out watch the pass comes here the right of your screen watch Barry Beck go down block it on his knees tries to get it out you know, they put Andy, as you look at Barry Beck, Andy Moog in net has never lost against the Rangers. Four zero and zero lifetime. And he has a 900 save percentage, which is tops in the NHL. Rangers clear all the way down. Oilers on the power play. And come up. Gretzky is on the left wing as Huddy comes across. The shot by Crucial Niski is high and off the glass. Crucial Niski gets it back in the corner. Back to Gretzky behind the net. Gretzky looking, the feedback to the point. Comes across to Huddy, back to Coffey. Coffey looking for shooting room. Looks and shoots. Deflection in nice front. Save. And a 
Saved by Hanlon. And that was a good save by Glenn Hanlon. He had that. Look at him talking to Barry Beck right now. Tell him, okay, you guys keep him apart. Kit, let me see that shot like that. I'll catch it. Coffey had a good shot there. Here's the shot by Coffey. The right hand by Glenn Hanlon. And he just scoops it. First baseman right there. But he could see it all the way, and that's the key. The defense tonight in front of the netter, Huber and Beck especially, are clearing out the guys much better than they have in the past. Look at this. They got Kusil Niski taking the draw. Gretzky's on the point here. They put Huddy up on the right side. Kusil Niski goes forward with it. Hanlon knocks it ahead, and the Rangers able to clear. 25 seconds to go on the penalty to Ron Greshner. 6-3 Rangers. 18.35 to go. Second period as Coffey comes across. Coffey sets up the power play across to Huddy. Huddy shoots off the pass in front of the deflection wide. But in front, Crucial Niski shoots and they score. And just that quickly, here come the Oilers. Well, that was a weird, weird goal. Glenn Hanlon had his backside right against the back of the net. And that's a weird one. Okay, let's take a look at this as it bounces off the boards. Here's the shot by Huddy to deflection. Bounces off the boards. Glenn pushes in. And now watch where Glenn Hanlon is. You see how he is? That puck deflected or something. It was like, I know what happened. I know what happened. When Kuzelniski went to shoot it, he double hit it. And that's why that puck went like that did. 36th goal of the year for Mike Kuzelniski is a power play goal. And it's 6-4, to four, Rangers. James Patrick ahead for Steve, broken up by Kevin Lowe. The Oilers the goal was scored by number up by Sandstrom, who sends it in. Moog stops the puck for Lowe. Assists from number 22, Charlie Huddy. Oh, one of the many All-Stars to play in the All-Star game. Time of the goal, the Edmonton Oilers. 33 Steve Patrick, rather James Patrick, sending it in. Lee Fogelin clears it out. Goal of the season. And broken up by Brook. Feed for Rutzelainen, in against Fogelin. Rutzelainen holds, pass is blocked by Fogelin. Rutzelainen back pass to Brook. Brook shoots, and a stick save made oh. by Moog. The rebound all Damn. the way up into the crowd. That was a great save. 17.40 to go, second period. Oilers have come up with a power play goal by Mike Kruschelniski, but the Rangers lead 6-4. Move ahead in the action. 6.37 left, second period, 6-4, the Rangers still lead. Shots are 9-7 to seven for the Rangers in the second period. They're out shooting the Oilers 24-19. Pavlich comes in. Pass blocked by Billy Carroll, centers, and Huddy is there to intercept. Roots a line in on him. And Pavlich working it, trying to work it free. Huddy falls down on top of the puck. Huddy's looked a little shaky back on defense tonight. So. Well, they've settled a lot. They've settled down. Barry Beck is being treated by Bobby Williams. Oh, it looks like time. It sure does. Boy. He's rubbing his shoulder. Now. It's taking how long for Beck to get that shoulder back into reasonably good shape, and now looks like uh, some more soreness is there. They've re-injured it again. Patrick throws it in the corner. Hedberg tied up with Coffey. Work free to Pavlich. Pavlich gets it to Rusalina, and he has room to shoot. He holds, walks in. He takes backhander is blocked in the crease. Well, I can't believe that one. Look at Edmonton. There are three players. That puck hit Anders Hedberg. Nobody checked Rutzelainen. And... That's incredible. Look at all the players, okay? Hedberg's there. There's one, two, three Edmonton players. And that puck hit Berger right on his left leg and went down. <laughs> Rutzelainen tried to find a hole somewhere to get it through. He would have had the goal. Reminds but me of playing his own man. Well, you get behind this thing, but there's one little branch, one little tree. And you're going to hit it. And I hit it all the time. <laughs> 6.04 to go. Lennon, wishing he had another chance like that. LaRouche, Erickson, and Sundstrom on with Ledger and Greshner. Well, Greshner seemed to be favoring his shoulder earlier. He's okay. Uh, what they're doing there, Gretzky wants to know whether he can keep Hughes on the right on the board. That's all he has to do here with LaRouche. Erickson shouldn't go there. It doesn't make any difference whether he goes over there or not. <laughs> they skate back and forth. Erickson goes back there again. Loose. Hughes fell down. Greshner stops the puck. 
And Gretzky intercepts as a head man, and it's blocked by Greshner. Try to hit Hughes on the break. And the Rangers come back. Erickson across the line with Sundstrom. Sundstrom with a shot. Saved oh, by Paul. Oh. Beauty. Centered by Greshner off the stick and all the way through. Batted out of the zone and into the crowd by Dave Hunter with 5.38 to go. Moog looking good. You know, that Moog, he made some, he's made some great stops already. Sundstrom snapped that one. Okay, here he comes. That's Erickson over the blue line. Number 20. And he drops it to Peter Sundstrom. Sundstrom comes in, breaks to his left, and just snaps it. And watch Moog's right arm. Right on the blocker. You know, Moog says, imagine Grant and I, that means fear, both of us on the Ulster team. That just tells you what kind of team we have in front of us. And it's been a good combination for the Edmonton Oilers. Both goaltenders have played well last season and this season. Another frozen puck for a faceoff with 5.32 to go. Beck is back on the ice. And we will watch to see uh, if he favors that shoulder at all, the left shoulder. Moog won 27 games last season. Fewer won 30. This season, uh, Fewer has won 20 games. And Moog has won 20 games. Both players made the all-star team. Moog first all-star and Fewer second all-star. Moog was a seventh-round draft pick in 1980. Sandstrom after the puck. Beaten to it by Fogelin. And the Oilers clear the zone. Rangers lead 6-4 to four with 5.15 to go in the second period. Lumley gets it ahead. Huber stops it. Lumley recovers. Feed for Dave Hunter. Huber holds him up along the boards. Sandstrom. Give it away to Hunter. Hunter. Tied up with Huber. Fogelin comes in. Knocked away by Rogers. Huber with a bump on Fogelin. Loose in the corner. Hunter gets free. Puck is loose behind the goal. Hunter has it. Centered. Shot is a save. Hughes with a shot. Handling the save. Puck picked up by Rogers. Rogers to Steve Patrick. Broken up by Kevin Lowe. Lumley ties up Steve Patrick. Sandstrom to Rogers. Rogers holds. Bumped along the boards. And it's sent back in by Brook. Roots the line in and Lowe go for the puck. Low gets there. Goes down. Puck lays loose. Here's Hedberg. Centers. It's off the stick. Patrick tries to keep it in and does. And shoots and it deflects into the corner. Roots the line in. Bumped by Glenn Anderson. Pavlich has the puck. Back to Hedberg. Hedberg looking. Cross ice for Brook. Off the skate in front. Roots the line in stick being held by Anderson. Hedberg keeps it in. Roots the line in gets to the puck. Roots the line in centers. Blocked by Low. Roots the line into Pavlich. Back to James Patrick. He shoots. Stick saved by Moog. Rebound. Hedberg along the boards takes a hit. Pavlich has it. Pavlich checked along the boards. It's worked out to center by Messier. Messier breaks free. Pass cross ice for Napier. But they're offside on the play with 3.45 to go in the second period. And the Rangers leading 6-4. Rangers really applied a lot of pressure right there. As you look at Mark Napier and there's Glenn Anderson. Glenn Anderson also an all-star. He's, he's uh, some kind of a player also. That Glenn Anderson, he has 29 goals so far this year, 55 points, which is not as high no, as I think he last year. He scored 54 year. goals last yeah. season, 99 points. I think it had a lot to do, though, with Messier being uh, hurt. Oh. Giveaway to Gretzky, and the backhander is blocked by Ledger. In the corner, Drescher gets away from, from Gretzky, and... Then slap LaRouche. LaRouche for Sundstrom, just a little too far. Sundstrom with Greg on him. Good hit by Randy Gregg. LaRouche gets the puck back to Erickson. Now to Greshner. Over to Erickson. Erickson shoots. Stick save by Moog. LaRouche centers for Sundstrom. He shoots. It's blocked by Jackson. And went over the top. There's Puck Curry behind the net. And Curry comes out up the middle for Gretzky. Gretzky against Ledger. Gretzky with the move. He centers. And it's right past Kuzlowski. Picked up by Curry. Centers with Ledger. Broke it up. Along the boards. It's set out for LaRouche. One on one against Don Jackson. LaRouche fell down. Ledger picks up the puck. Sends it in. The Oilers come back. Kuzlowski. Cross the line. Curry. Curry falls down. Sandstrom trying to poke it free when the whistle blows with 2.47 to go in the second period. You know, that pass that Gretzky made on uh, uh, to Crucial Niski went right back out, and Curry is being covered by uh, like a blanket. Here's the pass. Watch Gretzky pick it up with his feet. 
Then he goes around the left side of your screen. Kushaliski comes down. Here's a little pass and Sundstrom on him. But on the right of your screen, look at Erickson. He's been all over Curry this period. Ari Curry scored 52 goals in 64 games last season. And he has gone over the 100 point mark for the third straight year. Last season missed uh, some time with an injury and has 52 goals in 53 games this season. Well, he has been uh, kind of invisible so far tonight. That's because Jan Eriksson is just covering him like a blanket. Hughes tied up by Beck. Lumley has the puck centered in Huber and Sandstrom has it. Sandstrom with Beck on the left side. Hits Beck with a pass. Back for Sandstrom. He's pulled down by Coffey. No call as the fans want one. But Fournier looking to not call anything. Huber centers, deflects side of the net. Coffey lost his stick. Huddy plays it, but a hand pass is whistled against the Oilers. Paul Coffey grabbed Thomas Sandstrom. That was a good play by Coffey. Sandstrom's kind of angry at it. But uh, now Beck is talking to him again, and we'll see what happens. The last time Beck. Beck talked to him like that, Gretzky got a penalty 19 seconds or something later. 2.22 to go in the second period. Only goal of the period, a power play goal at 133 by Mike Crucial. Niski is 36th to uh, get the Oilers within two. Rangers like 6-3 end of the first was the linesman. And Shakti does a little patchwork. Yeah, he's picking up all the little chips from the stick that broke. It was coffee stick broke from Sandstrom. Sandstrom fell right on it and broke it. Can I ask you uh, what you thought about uh, Jerry Cheever's resigning with the Boston Bruins? Well, tonight? I don't know. You know I, I thought that uh, it was coming, I suppose, whether he resigned or was asked to resign or what have you. I guess he was you. asked. I don't know, to tell you the truth, Sam, but uh, one thing I do know, Harry Simmons is a darn good coach. James Patrick shoots wide. Rebound is behind the net. Putty is bumped. But he hasn't coached since 72 when he coached this in Russia. Loose puck. Brook trying to keep it in. It's taken out by Messier and broken up nicely. Loose along the boards. Brook comes over the roots of Linen. Brook is there for the puck. Picked up by Hedberg. Drops it off. Oilers pick it up. And ahead it goes. Cross the line. They come. Back goes wide. Behind the net, Messier is there. Messier centers, shot by Hunter, is off the shoulder of Hanlon. Hedberg trying to knock it ahead. Tied up along the boards with Huddy, and it throws him with a minute 44 to go in the second period. This Charlie Huddy, we've talked about him. Looks like he's trying to grow a beard, or I guess they just don't shave before the game. Sometimes when you go and uh, when you go on a road trip like this, you'll do some crazy things like one you know, you get your own little group that won't shave and, and uh, just to cause trouble and just to be different. Sometimes it gets very boring on the road. A little life into things, right? Yep. And this is the fourth game of a seven-game road trip for the Oilers, which started in Winnipeg. They went to Minnesota and Detroit before the All-Star game. Erickson works it out to center ice. Oilers go on to Philadelphia, Buffalo, and Toronto before they return home. Rangers will be in Edmonton March 9th to meet the Oilers again. Around the boards. LaRouche has it. Gave it away. Poked out the center by Greshner. Greshner picks it up and carries. Greshner across the line. Nice feet for LaRouche, but it was blocked by Lowe. Carroll goes into the corner with Erickson. Worked up the boards, and the Oilers come out. Off the stick of Semenko. And Ledger plays it with 105 to go. In the second period, Greshner goes down, checked by Semenko. Erickson has the puck, tries to hit LaRouche. LaRouche, and Lowe, Lowe pokes it up the boards. Sundstrom has it with less than a minute to go in the period. Kevin Lowe, tied up by LaRouche. Fogelin has the puck with 50 seconds to go. Fogelin out to center, Ledger is back for it. Semenko chasing him. Green by Beck, Ledger drops it to Beck with 40 seconds to go in the second period. Sundstrom clears the zone to Rogers across the line. Rogers the shot saved by Moog. He covers the rebound and drops it off for Don Jackson. And out comes Curry. Curry being held by Rogers. Pokes it in. 20 seconds to go in the period. Hanlon sends it up the glass. And around it goes. Stopped by Jackson. Jackson throws it into the slot for Curry who shoots to Gretzky. Save is made. Gretzky gets the rebound in. Wayne Gretzky with his second of the game, 56th of the season, just kept poking.
looking at it. Shot it well, into Hanlon and got the rebound. I'll tell you, this shows you how, why he's such a great goal scorer. You have to have luck to be a good goal scorer, and I can attest to that. Now, here's the shot by Curry, and Gretzky is great at this. He gets the puck, he misjudged that one. Now he puts it in front, hits Glenn Hanlon's pads, comes right back to him. Barry Beck dives, so he just puts it in. The goal now, he either A, played this. Here's the play by Glenn Hanlon. Now, I want you to watch what Gretzky does here. As Gretzky shoots it, now watch when Glenn Hanlon goes down. Not there. Not there. This one. He plays it. Whether he plays that off the pads or not, I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe he did. Because he's such a great player, he probably did. I wouldn't put it past him. The final 12 seconds of the period have expired, and the Oilers get a big, big goal in 1948. So, suddenly, as we mentioned, you can never underestimate the highest scoring team in the NHL, the Edmonton Oilers. They were down. 6-3, end of the first. They scored a goal early on the power play by Crucial Disky at 133. And then Gretzky's second of the game at 1948 from Curry and Jackson has made it 6-5. Rangers leading it end of two. We'll be back in just a moment. This program is authorized by Madison Square Garden Productions Incorporated solely for the entertainment of our audience. Any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this event, including the imposition of a charge for viewing the program without the express written consent of Madison Square Garden Productions Incorporated, is prohibited. 6-5 Rangers as we start the third. Fatorik, Fatiu, and Blaisdell. Fatorik to Fatiu. Blaisdell trying to come in front. It's knocked away. Oilers come out. Glenn Anderson, nice drop to Messier for the shot. Glove saved by Hanlon. What a shot by Messier. And Hanlon coming up with a quick stop. Great shot by Messier. He was going backwards when he snapped that back towards the, the right. Glenn Hanlon stopped it. Okay, here's the drop pass. Messier comes. Now he's going to his right. And look how he snaps back. And Glenn Hanlon had to come up with a good save. You know, Sammy, you're talking about uh, the, the, the Edmonton Oilers with, in the third period. And they scored first for 30 wins, one loss, and three ties. And they scored first tonight. Right now, it's the Rangers leading, though, with six goals all in the first period. Sandstrom goes back to the defense. Bob Brook is there. James Patrick. Crucial Niskin Gretzky for checking off the stick of Steve Patrick. Rogers dropped it off. But Curry clears the zone. Now Rogers with two goals on the night. Numbers 18 and 19. Sending it in. Moog came off the bench. Grant Fuhr started the game for Edmonton. Gave up all six goals. Moog started the second period. Rogers centers, hit the side of the net. Sandstrom knocked down behind the net by Huddy. And Steve Patrick is knocked into the goal. Again, he goes sliding into the goal post. Last game in Philadelphia, he had it. Goes sliding in again. Steve Patrick could be one of the more bruised players on the team. He's got bruises all over. He's trying to skate it off right now. Bob Williams with a quick trip onto the ice. He's the quickest <laughs> trainer in the league. There's <laughs> Jeff Berg, one of the other trainers for the Rangers. I want to say hello to Rangers public address announcer Carl Martin, recuperating from an operation that he underwent earlier in the week. Carl is uh, out tonight. We uh, hope he'll be back on Sunday night. Right well soon, Carl. Yes, sir. Good boy, Carl. And also Jerry Maloney, who did not go through with the backup. No, they you know? called it off, huh? He called it off. Oh. Right, those are frightening. Yep. You really, really have to worry about that. There's Big Crucial Nesky. On the draw, wins it from Pavlik. Pass deflected. Greshner throws it in front. Hedberg is there. The backhander stopped by Moog. The bouncing puck that Hedberg picked up. Grush, uh, Gretzky trying to beat Ledger. Ledger slowed him up. Curry centers. Greshner there to intercept and sends out the Ledger. Coffee losing to Rutzelein in two on one. He comes in with Hedberg. Rutzelein in the back. Henry scores! Is a big goal. Paul Coffey, he gave the puck away three times. Finally, the third time, it cost him. Boots line, and he cuts right in front of Huddy. 
Hedberg's on his left, and what a great backhand this is. Right past the right hand, or the left hand of Andy Moe, right into the net. Here's where he steals the puck. Look at Coffey, that's the third time he's given the puck away. He cuts in front of Huddy. Nice move. Watch this with the left hand. What a shot, right in the corner. What a quick cut from Roots a lot. And I'll tell you, right to left. is that a big, big, big goal? Rio Rutzelainen, 19 for Rio Rutzelainen. Puck down to the side of the net. We had a whistle for an offside. And we'll bring the puck out to center for a faceoff. 1.31, the time of the goal. So the Rangers get the early goal after the Oilers got the late one at the end of the second. And the Rangers, Rutzelainen unassisted. Unassisted, 1.31, the time of that goal. His 19th. A goal and two assists in the game for Rio Rutzelainen. Rangers have had 11 players score points tonight. Six different goal scorers. Huber chased by Lumley. One hands it up the boards. Stopped by Greg. Loose Lumley in the corner. Checked by Beck. Back to the point to Greg. He shoots wide. Far side. Hughes centers. And a shot goes over the top by Lumley. Centers again. Beck docks it away. Fight going on. Erickson in the corner. Well, I don't know what, what Hughes Fournier was waiting for. I have no idea what Fournier was waiting for. That started. I'm, Sam, I was watching it. You're watching a play. This kid Hughes cross-checked Erickson three times. And Jan just kept going, staying with him. And finally, it started. And Fournier was right in front of him. I don't know what he was waiting for. Because that didn't have to happen. Erickson holding his own against Pat Hughes. Heads for the penalty box at 2.05 of the third period. Rangers leading 7-5. You're watching Rangers hockey from Madison Square Garden. Now move ahead in the action. 15-52 remaining third period. 7-5 the Rangers in Nova Scotia is beating New Haven in the third period. 3-2. Club and share with LA. That shot from the point goes wide. Comes out of the zone. Sundstrom along the boards, working for it. Beck comes in to help out. Knocks it ahead to LaRouche. LaRouche comes in. Screen shot. Score! Pierre LaRouche gives the Rangers a three goal lead. It's eight to five. That was quite a shot, and that's deflected. And Poppy's on the ice again. Holy. Okay, here's Barry Beck. He just banks it off the board. Pierre LaRouche picks it up. Comes in. Coffey. Watch it hit Coffey. Hits his stick. And knuckleballs past Andy Moog. Okay, here he comes again. LaRouche, he comes over. Now watch Moog go down, but the puck deflects. You see the puck is rolling, but it just deflects. It hits the stick just barely. And the knuckleball. I feel weak old knuckleball. Right by Andy Moog. Two goals in the third period by the Rangers, who lead 8-5. to five. Picked up by James Patrick. Here come the Rangers again. Patrick drops it off. Rangers keep it in. Sandstrom knocking it ahead, taken back by Huddy. LaRouche with his 20th of the season. Ties Thomas Sandstrom for the team lead. Right behind are Rodgers and Rutzelainen with 19. Glenn Anderson across the line. Throws it in front, and Hanlon stops it. 15 minutes to go in the third period as Rogers comes to center. 8-5 Rangers. Rogers in front for Sandstrom. He couldn't get the stick on it. Sandstrom steals it. Sandstrom dropped it off. He went to feet up for the shot that, and lost it. Is that Coffee having trouble or what? Whew. He's had a tough third period. Here's Rutzelainen back on. Checked by Huddy. Rutzelainen still has it. Gets it back for Hedberg. Now Greshner helps. Hedberg. Hedberg to Huber. Save mode. Messier has the rebound. And out the center. Hedberg is there. Greshner with room on the left side. Weaves his way. Feeds Blaisdell. Blaisdell in. He shoots it a save by Moe. The rebound's in the corner. Don Jackson has it. 14-10 to go in the third period. 8-5 Rangers. Randy Gregg ahead, and Huber is there to intercept. Huber looking. Fires into the other zone. Taken off the boards by Hedberg, but the Rangers were offside. Exactly 14 minutes to go in the third period. Roots the line in, and LaRouche have scored, and the Rangers lead 8-5. Roos scores his 20 from Beck and Sundstrom at 4.22. And look at the 
difference today. Let's right. see there. doesn't show that much emotion when he's, when he's uh, you know, coaching behind the bench. Well, what a game this has been. We haven't seen a game like this in a long time. And uh, we're doing the broadcast all the time. And for the Rangers, we, it's, it's rather exciting to see this kind of thing happening. Third highest goal total for the Rangers this season in a game. Scored 11 and 9 in games against New Jersey. And have 8 against the Oilers. And again, icing is called on the Oilers. I want to point out, the Oilers are the fourth best defensive team in the National Hockey League. And yeah. they've given up eight goals. You see what the Oilers did. They really get a, an icing call. The guy has one strike from the red line, and he ices the puck. You can know that they're not thinking very smartly when things like that happen. The Oilers had a rough game once before when they had a long stretch. Remember they went to Palm Springs for a few days off and went to L.A. and lost like 7-2 to two in Yeah, LA. they got bombed. They don't like those long uh, I think you're right. LaRouche and Sundstrom and on with Blaisdell on the right wing. Erickson still sitting out of fighting penalty. Blaisdell pulled down Don Jackson. Sundstrom is pulled down. And the puck worked around. And out of the zone, Gretzky on the right side. Three on two rush. Ahead for Crucial Niski. In front, the save by Hanlon off the shot by Jackson. And a penalty is called. Hooking is called. Rangers have gotten a penalty. Beck will go off. 13-31 to go. Third period. Rangers 8 and the Oilers 5 from Madison Square Garden. This is New York Rangers hockey. Beck goes off for hooking at 6-29. Edmonton go on their fourth power play. One for three so far. And... Uh, just something they said, Gretzky and these other guys, Crucial Niski in the, in the intermission, when he said that uh, they never feel that they're out of a game. Right. If they're going to get back into it, Sam, now's the time, time right here in this power play. Crucial Niski, Anderson, Curry, Gretzky, and Coffee on. Gretzky and Coffee on the points. Rangers taking a lot of time right here. Holding things off. Robbie Fatori getting very back in his stick. Van Hannan had gone to the bench in commercial. Slowing things down. LaRouche, Fatorik, James Patrick, Grant Ledger. Ledger drives it around the boards. Fatorik clears it. 13 20 to go. Third period. 8 to 5. Rangers leading it. Gretzky with two goals in the game. 56 on the season. Sends it in. And off the boards by Ledger. Stopped by Coffey. He shoots. He scores. Power play goal for the Edmonton Oilers, number 22 for Paul Coffey. Okay. It's 8-6. Paul Coffey has been absolutely ter terrible defensively tonight. But here he comes again. He picks up the puck, top of the circle, and just blasts this one by Glenn Hanlon. No chance for Hanlon. And the, and the Edmonton Oilers are back in the game. Here's Gretzky. Gretzky shoots the puck in. Now he comes in and banks off the board. That's an assisted goal. And Coffey just blasted in. Well, it wasn't defense. It was offense for Coffey. He's got a goal and two assists in the game. 8-6, second power play goal for the Edmonton Oilers. Beck sending the puck ahead. And it's played out to Curry. Past him. He's tied up by Sandstrom. Oilers come in. Gretzky holds the puck. Goes cross ice. Centered. And it was deflected. Comes back. Putty keeps it in. In front, the shot is a save off the blocker by Hanlon. Curry centers and Beck knocks it away. Oh, now boy. Was pulled down. Rather, Steve Patrick was pulled down. Van Booing wanted a call. Rangers have the puck in center. Rogers with Sandstrom. Two on one develops. Rogers shoots just wide. Again, it was coffee. He went around him like he was standing still. Ledger has the puck. Take it. Why don't you on ones in this game for the Rangers? As the Oilers have gotten caught several times. Rogers beats Sandstrom. Sandstrom against low. He shoots wide. Rebound Glenn Anderson. Chased by Ruth Kalinen. Ledger stops the puck. Ledger shoots from the point. Glove save by Mulligan. He holds on. And Sandstrom gets focal and stick right in the midsection. Oh, no, nothing's happening. Man. Exactly 12 Kevin minutes Lowe. to go. Kevin Lowe is seeing things to him. So is Foglin. 12 minutes left. Third period. Rangers 8. Oilers 6. <laughs> Salute another star performance. We'll have our selection of tonight's Texaco MVP.
MVP of the game in a few moments. Play in the Oilers zone. Hedberg and Fogelin tied up. And Mark Messier is away with the puck. Messier hits Mark Napier. And he's tied up by Pavlich. The one-hand shot went wide. Hunter in the corner checked by Rutzelainen. Ledger and Messier. Messier around to Napier. Napier back to Messier. Messier is checked. And Ledger picks up the loose puck. Off the glass. And out of the zone. Rutzelainen sending it down. Moog stops the puck. Back come the Oilers. Messier carrying. Cross the line with Napier. Tries to go wide, and Pavlich took it away. Feet for Hedberg. Hedberg and low race for the puck. Tie each other up. Puck lays there for Fogelin. And icing is called. 11-12 to go in the third period. Rangers out shooting. The Edmonton Oilers 36 to 27. This is Mark Napier. The guy came over from Minnesota. He has a chance to be on a Stanley Cup winning team now. Because Edmonton has to be when, when you, you, know, you win one game, you've got to be favored next year. Nine points in nine games. It made a good rush there, but Mark Pavley stayed right with him. Faceoff is to the left of Glenn Hamlin. Fatoric against Dave Lumley on the draw. Napier was on the Stanley Cup championship team with Montreal. Yes, 79. Sir. Here's Greg into the slot shot by Hughes is wide. Pat Hughes has it. Knocked down by James Patrick, and Bob Brook is away with the puck. Three on three rush as Anderson gets back. Feet for Fatiu. Fatiu goes in. Checked by Randy Gregg. And Anderson works the puck free, then over skates. Blaisdell and Fatiu along the boards. Fatiu has the puck centered, and Anderson breaks it up. It gives it away to Bob Brook. Brook looking for room. Wrist shot. Knocked down in front. Oh, got a piece with a stick. Hughes checked by Blaisdell. It's kick free. Fatiu goes in. Couldn't play it. Anderson tied up by Fatorik. Anderson falls down. Now gets up. On Jackson behind the net has the puck with 10.25 to go. Third period. 8-6 Rangers. Greg sends to Anderson. Anderson in against Brook. Anderson is pulled down. Oh, boy. And Fournier looks Woo. at it and says nothing doing. Coffey shoots. Deflects in front into the corner. Lumley pokes at it. Lumley and James Patrick. Now Fatorik goes over. And Fatorik works it up and out to Blaisdell. With James Patrick on the right. Fatiu trails on the left. Blaisdell winds and shoots. It was deflected and Moog stopped it. Oilers come back. Just under 10 minutes to go in the third period. Coffey carrying. Drops it off for Curry. Curry tied up with LaRouche along the board. Sundstrom comes out. Two on two. He's got Erickson with him. Across the line, Sundstrom. Sundstrom against Coffey. Coffey ties him up. And Kruschelniski has the puck. Mike Kruschelniski drops it back to Paul Coffey. Pass Kruschelniski to Curry. Curry knocks it into the Ranger zone. Huber back for it. Gretzky on him. Up the boards and all the way out. This will be an icing call. Coffey comes back to make the touch. 9-19 to go in the third period. Rangers with two goals early from Rutzelainen and LaRouche. Coffey has come back to score the power play goal. LaRouche has scored his 20th tonight on the knuckleball. He's been playing against the Gretzky line all night with Jan Eriksson most of the time anyway with Eriksson and Sundstrom. And then sometimes Rogers goes out there. Rouge, a goal and an assist. He's the leading point scorer for the Rangers with 50. Tied by Rutzelainen tonight, who has a goal and two assists. They each have 50 points. Centered in front. Curry turns, and the backhander is wide. Up to the point, where it's kept in by Huddy. Gretzky in the corner. Centers back off the skates of Crucial Niski. Curry had his skates pulled out Boy. from under him. Crucial Niski works his way in for Curry. The shot is blocked by Rogers. Still loose in front. Rogers gets it up to the point. Huddy stops it. Keeps it in. Gretzky in the corner. Centers to Crucial Niski. His pass was blocked by Ledger. And Steve Patrick has the puck. Out of the zone. Coffee intercepts. And back into the Ranger end. Gretzky was still there. Rangers clear it out. Send it down. 8.40 to go. Third curry at Rangers 8. Six. A collision behind the net. Coffee Dale Mo Moog. <laughs> Here's Yari Curry coming out. Curry across the line with a drop to Gretzky. Gretzky finds some room. Gretzky holding. Look at him control the puck. Then it's finally knocked away. Hedberg comes out one on one. Hedberg against Kevin Lowe. Three on one developed. Shot by Rutzelein and glove. Save Moog. What a save that was. What a big save. 
Butler started as a one-on-one, -on -one, became a three-on-one, and Moog stops Rutzelainen with 8.13 to go. You're watching New York Rangers hockey from Madison Square Garden. Buick and GMC are here to help, to keep you going through these unprecedented times. If you need a vehicle, we're offering 0% financing for up to 84 months. Plus, you may have the option to shop online and take delivery at home with Shop, Click, Drive. If you need service, our certified technicians are ready to help. You can even schedule your appointment online. Together, we'll get through these uncertain times. Buick and GMC, we're here to help. 8-13 left. It's 8-6 in the third period for the New York Rangers. Pavlich roots a line in and Hedberg are on. The Oilers trying to clear it. Stopped by Brook for a quick shot. Sticked aside by Moog. Hedberg centers across and Moog got a piece of it. James Patrick keeps it in. His pass deflected and the Oilers able to play it out. Low off the skate and into the Rangers zone. James Patrick back for it. Just under eight minutes to go in the third period. Fogelin sent it right back in. Looks like it delivered offside. Let's see. Rangers want that delivered offside call, but it won't be. Well, he never got that one. Look at that. For this is the sixth time this year that the Rangers have had 40 shots on goal or more. 12 here in the third period. Edmonton with five in the third. Rangers have played very, very well. Even though it's 8-6. This is it's a fast game, games. though, isn't it? Isn't it fast, a fast game? Absolutely. A lot of shots. It's an announcer's score. game, too. I love it. <laughs> I'm a fan. No now. problem here. Even the fans in Vancouver would have fun with this one. That pass intended for the roof was broken up. Fogelin clears the zone. In intended for Napier. He was offside on the play. 7.38 to go in this third period. <laughs> yeah, they, they, make, they would might clap or something. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> Mark Napier is offside by about uh, four or five feet on that one. Face-off. Napier and Anderson and uh, Messier have not played much in this third period. You've only, uh, Napier has, but Messier is only, this only his second shift. Off the face-off. Poked in. Beck has it. Messier on him. Checks him. Sunstrom along the boards with Glenn Anderson. Sends it around for Erickson. Pokes it out to center. 7.20 to go in the third period. Rangers who led 6-3 end of one. 6-5 end of the second lead. 8-6 as Napier comes in. Holds. Face. Cross ice speed. It's off the stick of low. Rangers can get a two on one. Erickson and LaRouche. LaRouche across the Fogel and back. Back for Erickson. Just wide on the deflection. And a shot by Grister is a stick save by Moe. Ledyard comes in, overskates the puck, it's in the corner. Erickson wins it from low. Erickson loses to Anderson, but he gives it away to Sundstrom. Now Anderson gets it back. Loose puck, Lumley lost it to Erickson, pulled down. LaRouche picks up the puck. The shot blocked by Fogelin. You see that look effort? For, look you for see the effort by Sundstrom on that one? Fantastic. Here's Lumley coming in. Up by Ledyard, Greshner breaks up the play. Rogers overskates the puck, left it there. Hunter shoots, saved by Hanlon, rebounds loose. Lovely is in, saved what by Hanlon. Now that is the save. Lovely had him all alone. All he had to do was lift it up. Okay. Six ten to go. Third period, eight six Rangers. Hunter tries to get in and does. James Patrick takes him out. Lovely pulls down Sandstrom. Bob Brook is away with the puck with Rogers. Brook breaking wide against Jackson. Shoots wide. Rebounds all the way out the center. Looks a line and unable to keep it in. Rangers are offside with 5.48 to go in the third period. Rangers with 42 shots on goal have kept up the pace. But when he's needed to, Glenn Hamlin has come up with a big save. He made a save on Lumley. I mean, Lumley was all by himself. Okay, here's the shot by Hunter. Now the rebound comes right out. Lumley's on the left corner of the screen. Here he comes to pick it up. And look at Ledger goes with one guy. He's all by himself. Fakes, fakes. And he tries to put it in. And Glenn Hamlin dives over and blocks it. Dave Lumley. 
after a short visit to Hartford. See what Glenn Sabre said? I got him on uh, Reeves because uh, he went to Hartford. He got paid American money, and I rented him. <laughs> Curry with a puck tied up in center by Rutzelainen. Dershul Niski gets it across with a shot into the Ranger end. Pavlik plays it. James Patrick. Hope checked away. Pavlic will clear the zone. Sent in. Pavlic trying to knock it out and does. Huddy plays it. Curry feeds Coffee. Coffee across the line drops to Gretzky. Cross ice for Curry. It's out of the zone. Mark Pavlic is just staying with Gretzky here now. Five minutes to go in the third period as Krusilniski comes in. Rangers lead it eight to six. Krusilniski puts it in front. Huber is there to stop it. Rutzelainen plays it. Round the boards it goes. Coffee will get there. Shoots from the angle. Saved by Hanlon. Rutzelainen decides to clear it. Rangers will take an icing. Buddy comes back. Makes the touch. 439 to go. Third period. Rangers eight and the Edmonton Oilers six. Still lead 8-6. Vitorek and Messier on the draw. The shot goes wide. And on the near side, Fatiu comes in. Napier along the boards. Vitorek able to clear it. Comes all the way down. Rangers take another icing as Lowe makes the touch. 425 to go. The goal scorers, Gretzky 2, Crucial Niski, Hunter, Carroll, and Coffey for the Oilers. Hedberg, Pavlich, Greshner, Ledger, Rutzelein, and LaRouche, and two for Rogers. Kevin Lowe, he's an honorary chairman for the third year at the Edmonton Christmas uh, uh, banquet for instrumental and raising $500,000. $500,000. Money. 11,000 needy families in Edmonton area got the money. Yeah, it's really good, good work by that young man. Absolutely. Only other game in the National Hockey League tonight, Montreal-Buffalo. They're tied 3-3. Three, three. They have gone to overtime. McPhee scoring for Montreal. Mike McPhee and Robinson, two. Dave Maloney, Hamel, and Felino have scored for Buffalo. Plays with a puck. Fires it into the Edmonton zone as Moog stops it for Kevin Lowe. He's hit by Blaisdell. Vogelin plays it around, but Beck will stop it. Beck winds it back in. In the corner, Fatiu tries to get there. Anderson tried away, and Blaisdell with a good shot that sticked aside by Moog. Here's Messier coming down. Look at Lindstrom. He's on for Torek's back. A little wrestling match going on. Fatiu wants to get in there, but he's being held off. That started. Lindstrom was on top of Fatorik. They were really battling at each other. And now Beck is getting involved. Oh, it's Kevin Lowe and Nicky Fatiu. Nicky Fatiu starting. Well, this is all started now with Fatorik and Lindstrom. Vittori still hasn't dropped his stick and goes because he didn't know what was going on. Lindstrom and Vittori were just going at it. Watch the right corner of your screen, you'll see. As Fatio comes in, watch now. You see Lindstrom, number 19, he knocks down Vittori. Vittori sees this. Watch him go down on him. And that's what starts it. Vittori giving him a little cross check there. I don't think Vittori's even going to get a penalty. Well, now he seems to be uh, yeah, heading I guess off. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Not too happy. 3.58 to go in the third period. Rangers leading it 8-6. to six. Vitorik goes to the penalty box. And Lindstrom. Two minutes each. So the teams will skate four aside Here are the penalties. for the next two minutes. The other penalty was charged number 19. Wow. Well, but you notice another thing the, the Rangers, Rangers are doing different. And Sam, we've seen it. We started to see it on the road trip. And that is shooting the puck in more and right. going in after. Which is also, I think, a good thing to do. Um, the good teams, you know, you, you shoot it in, you go for it, you forecheck. A couple of players are real good at that. Steve Patrick. Yep. And it's helped Mike him. Blaisdell. And wait till Donnie Maloney comes right. back because that is his, absolutely his game. Sundstrom trying to kick Let's it see. in the Edmonton zone, and now Greshner plays it back to Ledger. Uh, Beck, or Lindstrom and Fatorik, Lindstrom and Fatorik at two minutes each for roughing at 16.02. On 
Anderson picks up the puck as they skate four aside with 3.45 to go in the third period. Rangers leading it 8-6. to six. Low of the feet for Anderson. The shot deflects wide. Low and Greshner tied up and Ledger's away with the puck. Ledger sends Erickson to center. The bouncing puck is finally picked up but Ledger was offside on the play. As Erickson had to hesitate to finally control the puck, Ledger went across. You see, he's just, he went like he lifted up his hand. He's telling Ledger, look, man, he's Nothing I puck do. Is bouncing like a rubber ball. Steve Richmond has the headset on behind the Rangers bench. There is 11th year defense to Lee Fogelin. Five years with Buffalo, six years with the Edmonton Oilers. Pavlich and Gretzky. 3.25 to go. Third period. Rangers eight and the Oilers six. Meet again March 9th in Edmonton. Skating four aside, Yari Curry carries. Curry drops it off for Gretzky. Back to Curry, sharp angle shot, he scores! Wow! What an angle that was, but it hit the post and bounced in. Well, I'm telling you, Sam, I looked around for the puck to come around the board. That is one heck of a shot. Watch Curry give it to Gretzky. Gretzky just stands there, waits. Curry goes into the corner. Here's a little pass, and he just drives this. From the bottom of the circle. Look at that. Off the goalpost, in the net. Like the puck had eyes. Let's take another look at it. Rutzelainen's back on the defense spot there. It goes to Curry, and Curry just blasts this one. Off the goalpost. Seven. Seven. Wow. Just under three minutes to go. 15, third goal of the year for Yari Curry. And here come the Oilers again. Across the line comes Coffey. The backhander goes wide. James Patrick has the puck with 2.40 to go. 8-7 Rangers. Well, they said it could be a 10-9 game. That's pretty close. It's not over yet. Curry has the puck. 2.30 to go in the third period. Gretzky across the line, feeds Coffey, and it's broken up by Pavlich. Pavlich just lifts it ahead, slides it down, roots the line and gets there, Huddy on him. Back behind the net, Pavlich comes in, takes the puck away. Sandstrom was in front, but it's taken up the board. Beck keeps it in to Pavlich. Pavlich ridden down. And Kruselniski takes the puck away. Coffey in center, with Gretzky on the right. Coffey to Gretzky. Gretzky holds. Cross ice feed, Hedberg will get there. 158 to go. Hedberg goes in against Fogelin. The shot deflects wide into the glass, or rather over the glass into the crowd. A minute 54 to go. Penalties to Fatorik and Lindstrom are up. And we'll have a face-off in the Edmonton zone. Right now, Mexico congratulates Rayo Rutzelainen as the Rangers' most valuable player of tonight's game for performing miles ahead of himself. Rayo Rutzelainen will receive Texaco gift certificates. Texaco superstar power for more star power. Rutzelainen a goal and two assists in the game. Murray is 53rd from Gretzky and Huddy at 16.54. Big face-off now in the zone. Faceoff is between Messier and LaRouche right now. Names are back at full strength with 154 to go. We'll see. We'll watch to see if Andy Moog leaves the uh, goal crease for the extra skater. If and when. Anderson lost the puck. Erickson pokes it in. Messier and Anderson go in. Rather, Messier and Erickson go into the corner. Puck taken away by Sundstrom. Sundstrom drops it back behind the net. Messier winds it around. Anderson knocks it out of the zone. LaRouche will recover with a minute 30 to go in the third period. 8-7 Rangers. Greshner with a puck. Greshner fires it past Sundstrom. Oh boy, and it'll be an icing. And that's what they want. 120 to go in this third period. The faceoff will be deep in the Rangers zone. Yep. You can let you can see that Gretzky's talking right now to to Glenn Sather, they're, they're going to take their time. You know Gretzky and Kuschelniski and Curry is going to be out there. And um, it'll be a big face-off now. Andy Moog looking to the bench for instructions from Glenn Sather. He's waving him to the bench. And Andy Moog is coming to the bench. 
Still loose. Gretzky comes in to play it. Centers on goal, and Hanlon stops it for Rodgers. Rodgers carries off the boards and out of the zone. So he didn't pull it. Huddy comes back with Sandstrom. Moog winds it around. Huddy picks it up. One minute to go in the third period. Eight, seven Rangers as Curry comes in. Curry lost control. Beck just clears the zone. Now he pulled him. Moog is gone. Extra skater on for the Oilers with 50 seconds to go. Curry across. Curry holds. Centers. Anderson's shot is blocked. It's still loose. Shot by Anderson is wide. Gretzky has the puck with 38 seconds. Shot by Coffey. Saved by Hamlin. Rebound what on the save. That one was. Still loose. And it's centered across. 30 seconds to go. Huddy down the right side. Gretzky behind the net. Loses the back. Lost it to Curry. It's still loose and knocked away by Ledyard. Coffey shot is blocked by Rogers. Race for the puck. Rogers. Huddy coming back. Huddy gets it ahead for Coffey. 14 seconds to go. Anderson lost it. Beck clears it. Sandstrom couldn't play it. Eight seconds to go. Sandstrom pokes it ahead. Wide of the net, but that'll do it. It's all over. The Rangers have won it. What a save Glenn Hanlon made of that last one. Two big ones. have broken a seven-game winless streak by defeating the number one team in the National Hockey League in a shootout, eight to seven. That sure is a shootout. Craig Patrick standing right there, patting all the guys on the back as they go out. Oh, boy. Happiness for the Rangers as they have finally broken the schneid. Oh, what a save Brent Hammond made on that save. Watch this. Okay, here's Gretzky. He goes back to Coffee. Here's the shot. Number one save. The rebound on Kruselniski. That's the save. Off the shoulder. And then the block shot. Rogers. Rogers with a Stole. great play up at the point. And what a shot. What a play. Great play by Mike Rogers. So, the Rangers have scored six goals in the first period. Defeat the Edmonton Oilers 8-7. We'll be right back with more from Madison Square. 